Hey, 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 what's up everybody? It's your boy Chiluba and I am back with my segment which is called Chiluba Speaks. <laughs> I'm gonna give you five ways of staying consistent. All dancers, let's go. So today I'm, I'm, I'm gonna speak about uh, something which uh, has been going through my head. I'm, I'm gonna speak about consistency for us dancers. Uh, what, what can help you maintain consistency towards uh, reaching your goals. And uh, I, I, I narrowed it down to some five points, which uh, I hope we are going to, to take in and hopefully it's gonna help us through, through our dance journey as we grow, as, as, as we grow. So let's go. So number one, isolating one goal. Isolate one goal. Most of the time uh, when, when, for example, I'm looking at dancers specifically, when we, we want to go to the next level, but we want to go to the next level in everything. You get, you want to go to the next level in everything. Yet uh, when your, your mind is spread out, it's, it's so hard for you to actually maintain that consistency maintain the focus because your focus is all over because you want to be the best in everything yet there is a better way and an easier way of just identifying one particular thing which you feel you have the most potential in and just pushing that you get for example uh, for me I, ca I can speak for myself when uh, I'm already an established dancer and I want to stand out. So how do I get to stand out? And I realized I love dance that is musical, like musicality, playing around with the instruments in the song, sometimes the vocals, but just musicality. And I decided to control, uh, to concentrate on that. And every time I did a choreo, I made sure it had those elements of musicality every time, every time, until with time it became my identity so that anytime I do a choreography and somebody else does it, somebody can tell it's me and that, that came through consistency. For you to be consistent, you should be easy on yourself. So I would say be easy on yourself. Don't be too hard on yourself, especially when it comes to failures. Uh, on your journey to being the best dancer or moving to the next level in dance, it's not going to be easy as you try to master your thing. So once in a while you will make the wrong decisions, you will fail many, actually it's not once in a while, it's a lot of times you'll fail, but uh, if you fail and, and you start beating yourself up because you didn't kill that routine, that video you wanted to put out didn't come out the way you are it slows you down you get it affects your consistency it slows you down so how about you make that mistake and then you learn from it you get learn from that mistake get up very quickly and continue because you still have the momentum because if you stop and start being sad and beating yourself up you're losing momentum it affects your consistency which is the goal so please make sure you be forgiving to yourself when you make mistakes don't be too hard on yourself and number three uh you really have to have a very strong mindset when you're working on your consistency as a dancer uh because working on your consistency means you, you, you're working towards a goal and as you work towards a goal you will face challenges on the way different challenges and uh, again, these challenges can easily slow you down, can easily slow you down. Uh, so you have to be really strong in terms of your mindset, because sometimes you want to do something, you're broke, you want to, to you have a, a routine you're working on with your fellow dancers, and you walk, uh, and you don't have money for, to go for rehearsals and everything you get. And if you don't have a strong mindset to say, I have to do it and I have to do it, your emotions will, will be like, ah, uh, now I can't do it, you start being sad because you're broke, 
or we start being sad because one of the main people in a choreography you're working on didn't come and it's it starts taking you down emotionally and and you know emotions control most of our of our actions so it will affect your psych which will slow you down and it affects your consistency which for example you had planned to do one video per week or one video per month and then because of that small challenge that happened you ended up not releasing that video which affected your goal you get and you start you always start like that and then you realize 10 months later you've not released your video just because of the mindset so let's work on our mindset let's be strong and able to control our emotions ah uh, number four let us guys let us uh, appreciate small wins small improvements on the road to to your uh, on the road as you go to to your next level as you're working on your consistency you should appreciate the small wins that you make them they might not be as big as you want but they're still wins improvements appreciate them because they are the ones which are going to give you that little psych and energy to continue doing that thing don't just expect big results just remember big results are results from small wins okay so please let us work on that and uh it's it's i would say that is uh what like me that is what has been part of my success in dance is uh i used to 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 have small wins just long before we had instagram and and, and all these short video platforms we had youtube and i used to celebrate just getting a thousand views on a, on a youtube video I used to be so happy to used to make me really happy and the moment I see that the moment I see that the moment I see that 1000 views I am like hey I have to do another one and another one and, and before you know it you realize you have released a good number of videos and according to your fans they like it because you're keeping them busy you're being consistent so for me, in the earlier days, in 2010, 2011, 2012, that, that those small wins really, really encouraged me to do bigger things. And by the time I knew, I was doing hundreds of thousands of views. So I think celebrating those small wins and appreciating them is a, is a, is a very important thing. Number five, and I think this is, I think, one of the hardest we face i've faced it i have this has been one of those things that i have had to fight and this is a uh, do it even when you don't feel like doing it i know so many of you have been in that position like you say for example tomorrow i must put out a tiktok video and then tomorrow comes and you you're not in the mood to make videos you're just there so that definitely affects that because if you plan to put out maybe a TikTok video every day and you miss that one day, that laziness will start also becoming consistent. So uh, you have to push yourself. It, I think it also goes back to your mindset. You look at, at the goal you're trying to achieve. Always go back to that goal. What am I trying to achieve? And that will remind you that you have to do it. You get, you have to do it even if you don't feel like it. This one, I know so many of you have been in this situation. I have been in that situation. And this happens so often that uh, I'm sure you guys go through it. So do it even if you feel like you don't feel like doing it. Dancers, let's go, let's get it. Pick up everybody. And uh, yeah, let's just work on our consistency because I, I know most of the dancers who we feel like are doing better than us sometimes it's not that they are better than us actually technically as a dancer some of them are just consistent and they and from the consistency they are improving small 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 and one day they actually are become better than you technically because they didn't look at the small things that might not be working they just considered what's working and they decided to do that 
more and more times and as you do it you also learn yeah chiloba speaks i'm out see you next week yeah